Good morning to the Southwestern Warriors are currently ranked number two in the mountains and we'll have a date with the current number one Perry Central later today at Pulaski County. Last night they were at Pulaski County, but to play. Yeah, Pulaski County, the Maroon student section all fired up my man in the penguin costume right there. Yeah, he told me that was a Kmart special coach right before the game. Let's do it without a lapse. Can we do that? We saw that with two minute laps in the first quarter and a three minute laps in the second quarter. Let's do it the whole game. Let's play on the defensive end and the offensive stuff will take care of itself. All right, let's go. Oh, no worries, Steve Wright. Your Warriors came out firing, especially your point guard, Peyton Gover. That dude went off. He seemed to get the bucket there. Now he's handed it off to Danny Butt from downtown. But yeah. And then again, Gover. He just sets there and then just fires. So quick, you have no time to think about it as a defender. Now, Trayvon Sylvester, he came out for the Maroons, had a nice game. Scored the first six points for Pulaski County. All inside, all tough buckets. Sylvester finished the night with 17 points. Riley Hall, also a good night. Mason Helton kicks it out to QB1 and the point guard on the basketball court. He had 15 on the night. But the Warriors, they just lit it up. Gover again. Finished with a game high 26, 80 to 70. The final Warriors sweep the regular season series with the Maroons. Harlan at Pineville, it's a district game in football, but not in basketball, but still the battle of Highway 119. That doesn't change. Fourth quarter is where we start, so you know it's exciting. Harlan down by eight, but they're not done. Drew Parks for three. That cuts the lead to five. Pineville, they go down low. Trent Lefevers off the backside cut. Seven point game, lines on top of Pineville. You know, it's hitting twos. Harlan's hitting threes, so you trade a bucket for another bucket. Yeah, how many threes can they hit in this 90 second highlight? There's two of them right there. Pineville again inside. It's the same guy, Lefevers, lines up by six. 106 left in the game, so they need two threes to tie it, no problem. Killian Ledford, there's one three ball with the clock winding down. And then you shoot it, no, you shoot it. Ledford again, four threes in three minutes. We're gonna play some extra basketball. Let's go overtime. Pineville starts out nice. Takes some two tries, but Cody Carnes up and in. Next time down the floor, go to him again, Carnes. Same result. But oh my goodness. Somebody go guard Ledford. The lion killer. Don't play him in horse. I would hate to. And then this one. Zoomage from way downtown. Goodness, that's the dagger. And in case you blinked, here they are again. Ledford, one. Ledford two, Ledford three, Ledford four, Ledford five, and six. Harlan wins 69-64 over Pineville. All right, the Hazard High School 2006 Capo State Champion cheerleading squad honored at halftime of Hazard and Jackson City. First quarters were picking up. Jason Johnson kicks it out. Griffin Wells, beard looking good. Oh, shot no good. But Johnson there for the putback. Bulldogs leading by four. Now with Zach Holland, the nice drive for the city, switches hands, gets it to go. Tigers down five. UPI top play contender, next possession, Sherman Collins. That's a nice spin move. Deficit cut to three, second quarter, Ryan Smith down to Johnson. He increases the lead back to five. Hazard improves the 16 and four in the season, 48-39 over visiting Jackson City. Hope Lafferty and the Sean Clark Lady Cardinals traveling to McGoffin County to take on the Lady Hornets in a 57 district matchup. McGoffin County ranked ninth in our mountain top 10. Lady Hornets they scored about as quickly as you can score in a basketball game. Off the opening tip, Jazzy Howard to a wide open Jalissa Gibson. That's how you do it. Easy bucket there. Off the Sheldon Clark turnover now. Leslie Howard. Great pass to Gibson. Four of the game's first six points for the senior guard. The Gothic County just cruises over Sheldon Clark last night. 66-32. Lady Hornets are 4-3 in district play. Back to the guys, the Knox Central Panthers at the Paintsville Tigers. A little 13th versus 15th region basketball at PHS Gymnasium. Slow start for both teams in this one. So slow that nobody scored in the first two minutes until Darren Morse did that. We got a bucket. Panthers settling into their offensive set now. 
taking advantage of their size down low. Austin Hall, nice flow in locks. Now off the Panther turnover, Luke Trimble. Luke Trimble, little floater. Lead trim to two, Knox Central staying true to their inside game. Sophomore Tanner Smith, no match for this big guy right here. That's Chad Marcy. How about a U-Pike top play consider second quarter now, Roger Maynard. Oh, goodness. Euro step, scoopage, all that good stuff. Knox Central beats the Paintsville Tigers, though, 91-62. Let's go back out to Somerset for girls' action. Stephen Butcher, Southwestern Lady Warriors, top-ranked girls team in the mountain, top 10 right now at Pulaski County. The Lady Maroons trying to end a 13-game winning streak on that side. First quarter, Peyton Ingram takes it to the rack, and oh, no, 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 no. Reggie Cundiff, the eighth grader, says no. That's a nice block, but then, yeah, Ingram does that. Later, Cassie Reed, the kick out to Kennedy Harris. She's an eighth grader. Lots of young talent on Coach Butcher's team, and they've only lost three times all season. Lexi McDonald, she also has range for Pulaski. Rainbow of a shot, almost lost the ball there for a second, but the, that's a splash ball. She had nine. Plasky down 10 at the break. Second half, third quarter, another read, skip pass, another three ball by Harris. She goes for 11. Favorite play of the night, though, comes from the leading scorer, Samantha Fitzgerald. Okay, that looks simple. A little left hand layup, but then look at it. Stay with it, stay with it. Lady Warriors get the steal, Fitzgerald gets the ball. And she had a game-high 22. Lady Warriors win their 14th straight game. They beat Pulaski at their place by 30. Then they come to Pulaski and beat them by 30 on their home court. Number 22, Kentucky out South Carolina today at noon. Highlights and postgame reacts at 6. And, of course, on the Appalachian Wireless Sports Overtime Saturday night. And I also want to mention Braxton Beverly last night. Dude went off. He had 70 points. Congrats to him. That's a look at sports. Enjoy your morning.